All right, guys, girls, here I am again. Another video. This video here is to show you how to get to your iVision TV APKs. We got something in store for y'all. It's a simple process, guys. It's get you. I have your Cody there, and I have uh, a couple of other APKs. I will be adding to the list. I have just got this organized and situated for you guys. It'll be your one-stop shop to get pretty much all the APKs that offer tons of material, whether you're into movies, TV shows, uh, can't do the live sports or the pay-per-views or stuff like that because I do offer the iVision TV APK, you know, that is for the IPTV. So let's go ahead and get into this video real quick. We will go over to your settings. On the very top, go over to settings. And what we have to do is go over to my fire tv we have to change a couple of the developer options by default they are all set to off we want to go to the adb debugging select it and turn it on go down to your apps from unknown sources we also will select that and we will turn it on as well there are other fire stick devices that will have three sections here you have the ADB debugging, add some unknown sources, and there is a third one. If that third, you do have that third, third option, you want that to be on as well. So you want everything in the developer options to be on on. Alrighty. Once you've done that, you hit your back button one time, hit your back button twice. You go back up to your settings and go all the way over to your left till you get to the search feature. Once you're at your search icon, you simply go down and you type in downloader D O W N L O A D E R alrighty guys and you go down to you highlight it downloader once you've highlighted downloader simply cl click it and there you are right there downloader you have the app you simply select it and you will simply download it from here guys just click it and it will start to download and install to your fire stick or if you have a fire tv box or you have a fire cube it is the same thing guys any amazon product any amazon streaming device let me say now we'll select open we'll simply open that up we will select ok now what we want when we get to here enter the URL of the website you want to download or the file you want to download it has HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the cursor is blinking we want the cursor blinking because that's where we are at if you go down and you do not see any cursor blinking and you're on go or anywhere else you want to get back up to where your cursor is blinking after the two forward slashes once you're there select OK and we will type in iVision, I-V-I-S-I-O-N, I-P-T-V, I-P-T-V, dot site, S-I-T-E, forward slash, A P K S A P K S. There we go. Simply go down to go and select go. This will direct you to my server, guys, where I have all the goodies here. Like I said, I just got this organized now, but I will be adding. You add, remember one thing. You have to make sure <clears throat> you do not run out of space on adding your APKs all you need is about five the most you know five or six to have more than enough material to watch you know if you don't like one simply uninstall it you know you simply go to your settings you'll go to applications you'll go to installed app managed applications you'll select the the APK that you've installed that you no longer want simply uninstall it and install something different you know as I continue to add to this list guys just try them out as you want if you want with what I just gonna give you guys 
those are good too that's what I use personally all right so once we get here we'll select OK now I like to always add these to my favorites because if I want to come back I don't have to type in all the whole link so once we get there we'll go all the way over go to go you go one more over to the right and you highlight the three lines on the top right hand corner you'll select it you'll go down to add current pages to favorites you'll go down to save and you'll save it to your favorites that quick guys and you go over to your favorites You get this, you go to your right, and you go to the link right there provided, guys. You click it, and it'll t take you directly to my server. Now, what we do is we just simply click on right here. We have the latest and newest version of Kodi 18.2 Leia. Simply select it. Once you get to this, and you get it downloaded, and you get it installed to your device, and you get all the other APKs that you want, Remember, Kodi is just the media player. It is nothing without the other video that I have to provide you. Once you've got Kodi downloaded to your device, you want to open it up. You want to let me know, hey, Julian, I need your YouTube video to show me how to put the build on here so I would be able to have all the add-ons to watch movies and TV shows and all the other material. And just let me know at that point, and I will give you the video. Alrighty, so now we'll scroll down to install and you'll simply install. It's a real quick process, guys. It's not difficult at all. Kodi is a bigger program, so it might take a little bit longer than the other APKs, but the other APKs are as easy to install. And that's all you do, guys. That quick, it's installed right there in the top left hand corner. It says app installed. We will select done right here we're gonna just simply install them guys alrighty we'll select done we'll select done again and we'll go up to free flicks HQ Pro alrighty we'll select that one as well this one here is also great for movies and TV shows it's a great for on-demand type deal you know you can watch what you want when you want we'll go down to install simply select install Give this one a little bit of time also because this one is this one is a little bit bigger of a file. I think with like 43 megabytes or something like that. So give it a little bit of time and they'll also finish installing to the fire stick. And what it is, the reason I'm giving you these is because I always want you to have more than one option to watch what you want to watch. You know, these things, guys, they go down. They go down for maintenance. They might not be maintained anymore, you know. But I try to stay current and up to date with what the best apps out there to keep y'all guys going, you know. I try to keep y'all able to watch what y'all want to watch. So once that's already app is installed, we'll go down to done. And we'll select done here as well. Now we'll go to Cyberflix TV. Select it that one's a lot quicker and we will go down to install again it's a real simple process guys I've made it to where it's simple you know this is a quicker way to get you guys updated a simpler way to get you guys just where y'all need to be as far as being able to watch what y'all want when y'all want it's no more meeting me if y'all guys choose to meet me that's fine with me but meeting can be inconvenient to people I might be far they might work long hours, you know, they might just always be with the kids, they might not have time to get away, whatever's the reason, you know, out of town, out of state, whatever's the reason, I always try to make a convenient way to go ahead and cater to my customers. I gotta take care of my people, and you guys are my people, you will keep me going. Once we've already installed this app, we will go down to done, go over to done. Now what we want is Cinema HD as well. And we will select Cinema HD. We will go down to install. It's 
let it do its things guys won't take long after this we will have cody we'll have cinema hd cyberflix tv and freeflix hq if y'all guys these things are just for on demand if y'all do want live tv real-time cable networks y'all get with me for my iVision ip tv service just let me know you're interested in it but nonetheless let's go down to done done all right so we're done here guys what i'm gonna do is hit the home button get out of here completely and we will go over to your settings go over to applications go to manage installed applications i just want to verify that everything is there we got cinema hd cyberflix tv freeflix hq and cody all right now cody if you notice is the version 18.2 and that is the most current version of cody guys this is the iVision tv the the apk that i told y'all is a a paid a paid service does deliver IPTV, but nonetheless, once y'all get here, guys, like I said, once y'all get to Cody and you launch Cody, you will just be brought to this screen. You will not have nothing on it, no files, no programs that will allow you to watch any content. Once you get to this point, reach out to me and let me know, hey, Julian, I need the YouTube video to get me the build added to my Cody, and I got you guys. Alrighty, thank y'all very much. I hope this video is not too long, but I wanted to show y'all from A to Z on how to get the APKs that you want that I offer. Thank y'all very much. Also, don't forget, y'all guys, like, share, comment. Like the video, guys. Thank y'all.